Hey everyone, welcome to Area 616 and to the first installment in my weekly Doctor Who review. Well, it's been far too long since the phenomenal ninth season of Doctor Who, but it's finally here, season 10, complete with an all new companion and a new creature. So today I'll be doing a sort of recap review of episode 1 with full spoilers, so keep that in mind. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was, of course, Bill. Going into this, I was really excited to see a new companion, but at the same time I was worried Bill was going to be more of the same. I'd been kind of hoping for a companion that was from a different time, or heck, even a different planet. Just something really different. But I've got to say, Bill is awesome. Pearl Mackey does a wonderful job here, and I think she could very well be one of my favorite companions already. She's funny, charismatic, and really a good character all around. What I really like about her is how unpredictable she is. She doesn't react in the ways you or the Doctor would expect, but it also still feels in line with her character, not like it was forced. So I actually really enjoyed her, and I'm, I'm very happy with her so far. I also like that the Doctor and Bill have a different kind of chemistry than the previous ones. It's more teacher-student, literally, than the others, if that makes sense. Bottom line is, she's great, and I can't wait to see more of her. But she wasn't the only companion here, as there was also Nardo, a cyborg played by British comedian Matt Lucas, along for the ride. He was fine, but he's going to have to do a bit more to convince me I want to see him come back for every episode. If I'm being completely honest, it feels like they got Matt Lucas for the Christmas special and then wanted him to be in season 10, so they just kind of wrote him in. What I mean is, I'm not 100% sure he was always meant to be part of this. Not that he doesn't contribute to the plot, but he does it in such small ways that if he weren't there, it wouldn't really change anything at all. I could be wrong about that, and again, he was perfectly fine. He didn't annoy me or anything like that. He just felt kind of unnecessary. Okay, I also wanted to talk about the new monster, the pilot, which is this goo that ends up killing and taking the form of this girl Bill was crushing over named Heather, who had a defect in her eye to where it looked like it had a star in it. In any event, she was fine as a villain of sorts. I enjoyed it. Apparently the goo was like this sentient oil for a rocket or something like that, which is just wonderfully weird. I feel like no show other than Doctor Who could have the villain be sentient rocket fuel and it worked totally fine. But of course, she wasn't really the villain, was she? Turns out, the reason she is pursuing Bill and the Doctor is because Heather's last conscious memory is of her promising Bill that she won't leave her. This is pretty interesting, though I'm not quite sure why she was screaming and jumping out at them, and I'm also not quite sure just how much the goo is in control here. So yeah, at the end of the day, it didn't make a whole lot of sense, but it was still fine. I think here the villain wasn't as important as introducing Bill and establishing her relationship with the Doctor and all that. And really having the villain be a bit, have a more emotional connection with Bill of sorts is a good way of doing that. Finally, it probably goes without saying by now, but Peter Capaldi is just awesome as the Doctor, as always. He is just fantastic at it and I'm really excited to get more of him, even if this is his last time. But yeah, in conclusion, this episode was as great as I was hoping it would be. It was fast-paced, fun, and it introduced a new companion that I look forward to seeing more of. I wouldn't necessarily say I like this one as much as Season 9, but it was still fantastic, and it was only the first episode, so I'm thinking it'll almost definitely get better. 4.5 out of 5. As I did with Sherlock Season 4 and Legion, I will be reviewing each episode of Doctor Who Season 10 as it comes out. I released this one on the Monday after the premiere, but starting with Episode 2, I will be releasing a Doctor Who Season 10 review every Sunday until July 2nd, when all 12 episodes are through. I love this episode, and I'm very excited to see what's coming next. Well, what did you guys think? Did you like this episode? Do you think Bill will be a great companion? Are you excited for the coming season? Let me know in the comments below.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.